Hello there, Reject Nation. We are going to watch today from Spider War, who just went to the Venom Let There Be Carnage premiere. We weren't even invited. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the movie. I, I hate you. But today we're going to watch this video that he put out yesterday called Spider Man No Way Home New Fight Scene Details Venom 2 Spider Man Crossover. Subscribe to Spider Warren if you haven't done so already. He gets to go to things in LA that we don't get invited to when he doesn't even live in LA. Thanks, bud. What's going on, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. Right now, I'm actually on my way to see the premiere for Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Yeah, so okay. it would be appropriate <laughs> that I would talk about Venom. Yeah, yeah. Of course, recorded this on today. an airplane. Today, we have details on a new scene from Spider-Man No Way Home. Some of you may have heard about this yesterday, but I can personally tell you that it fits into a real plot leak, which I am going to talk about today. You've probably heard me <laughs> talk about this plot leak that has been proven to be real. This scene is actually a part of this. And in this video, I'm going to be connecting the two together. Then I'm going to talk about the Spider-Man universe as a whole and talk about how it's expanding, how a new movie for the Spider-Verse is going to be coming out soon and how Spider-Man will most likely be in that film as well. And not to mention, okay. it does look like the Venom universe and the MCU Venom. could be one. They could actually be the same universe and apparently we're going to figure that out in Venom Let There Be Carnage. So this scene is actually actually a very particular scene from the actual official trailer that we got. The scene is where Peter and Doctor Strange are seemingly fighting each other. We all know of Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, Peter yeah. And Doctor Strange are on the train. Strange multiplies the train and Peter looks around kind of in shock. Now in the trailer, they seemingly begin to <laughs> fight when Doctor Strange says the problem is Peter is trying to live a double life. We then see Strange kind of knock the astral projection of Peter out of his body, kind of knocks his soul out of his body. And the reason that he seemingly does this is because of what is in his hand. If you look closely at the left hand of Spider-Man, you can see that Peter Parker is holding some type of artifact. It seems right, to be right. in the shape What's of in a the cube box. and it does seem to be very important. Important enough for Peter to try and take and Strange to go after him for. Now this report of this scene is coming from the CosmicCircus.com and this is what they have to say about this cube artifact. They Let's hear it. The cube's name is actually original to the MCU and not something that has been seen in Marvel Comics before. However, they go That's on cool. to say, but more on that another time, not giving any more details about the cube. Fortunately, I do know a little more <laughs> about the cube, which I'll talk about in a bit, but let's finish this scene first. The Cosmic Circus goes on to say that they have exclusively learned that during this chase sequence, there will be a point when Steven will actually use the Cloak of Levitation to try and trap Spider-Man during <laughs> this chase ah, nice. and again more on the chase and just a bit integrated to suit say, so, by technicality peter will don strange's iconic cloak at one <laughs> point during the chase sequence much like we saw his and very if, counterpart yeah. in what if however instead of the cloak teaming up with spider-man like it did in what if it's actually going to be going against him it's still going to be strangest and strange is alive and not a zombie it's the matchup we've been waiting for use this to hold peter in place and bring him back to him in order to confront him directly so that'll be a cool scene to see. We kind of saw the cloak oh, fight on its neat. own during What If, but now we're going to see it happen live action against Spider-Man. I actually love the idea of just seeing that on a live action screen. I think when we saw that image on What If, we wanted to see something like that in the live action format. To know that we're going to be getting even just a hint of it. I mean, come on, just how cool is it? Yeah. You just know it's like, it's cool. It's cool. Bring it to life. I wonder if at any point he will be using the cape, the cloak of levitation though, to aid him in a fight versus the the cloak just being used against him at one point. Now, Act that would be fascinating to see. If you were upset about how much tech he gets from Iron Man, just imagine <laughs> <laughs> all the magic gear all he gets from magic. Doctor yeah, Strange. Exactly. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Now, as far as the cube is concerned, and as far as the so-called chase is concerned, here's what we know. The plot leak says that the spell goes wrong, and we do hear Doctor Strange telling Peter that he is tampering with the spell as he's doing 
it in the trailer. So the spell goes wrong and it ends up bringing five spider villains from other dimensions to the MCU. Gotcha. And of course, we know which ones they are, but basically they're being kept in some sort of a magical prison that Doctor Strange is holding them in. Doctor Strange wants mm -hmm. to send them back to where they came from. However, the villains argue that if they do that, they are just going to die. They're going to go back to that same exact point where they died and die. So Peter doesn't want to send them back because he feels bad that another Spider-Man kills them. And here's where things get important. Oh, okay. So is the cube, is that where Peter went in that photo that was circulating the internet that had the models of Lizard and Sandman? So he's in the cube. Is that where that whole sequence takes place? Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, dude. Why is he wearing a suit when he's in there? Yeah. Because he wanted to respect all of them. I'm gonna go in this cube. I better dress up. Yeah, I better impress <laughs> anybody who might be lurking inside. <laughs> I don't know why, why his voice sounds like that. It says that Norman Osborn manipulates Peter Parker into releasing the villains. And from here, Peter fights Strange and breaks the key, which is a cube that held them captive, and the villains are now free. So this scene that we are apparently going to be seeing right here is the this scene. Wish this it scene was the cube from kind of cube. That astral projection knock where Peter is holding the cube is most likely this scene. Now, it does say that when the villains break out, go. they start to terrorize <laughs> New York. And one would think that if they got loose in the sanctum, Strange could have some type of procedure or measurements in place for defensive procedures to stop them somehow from getting outside of the sanctum. However, since the key is apparently what is holding the villains captive, it is a possibility that they could actually be be inside of that cube because they are outside in this scene and if the cube breaks here and it's holding them that could be how they get released into new york mm -hmm. we'll have to wait and see but it does right now seem like the key is some sort of a prison or the key to a prison and it seemingly is going to be an mcu proprietary artifact so i am very curious to learn more about this can't and wait to buy that toy imprison <laughs> your friends connects to venom because according to some recent reports the venom so universe and the Spider-Man MCU universe are the same. They're not different. Now, this is kind of contradictory to what we knew in the past, but keep in mind that Sony did just change their universe's name. Now, it's simply yeah. Sony Spider-Man universe. Why the change right before Spider-Man No Way Home and Venom Let There Be Carnage come out? This has been expected for a while, but now it's getting a little bit more real the closer we get to Venom Let There Be Carnage. And according to a recent report from Deadline on their Hero Nation podcast, Cast, they said Deadline. two things. Firstly, Venom is reportedly expected to connect to the MCU version of Spider-Man. And secondly, a new Sinister Six film is apparently going yeah, to be off the ground I've pretty heard soon. About this. At least that is Sony's goal. That's always their goal. I have heard rumors about this behind the scenes that I will not go into to protect people. But yes, that is 100% for sure that they are they're trying to get an actual Sinister Six movie off the ground. I have no idea if it's going to be something that is like these villains specifically or if their Sinister Six will be more of the new variations like Craven the Hunter, Morbius, not Mobius, not Morpheus, <laughs> Mo Mor Morbius. Morbius because he's morbid and dead. Yes, Morbius and uh, you know, like the other characters. The other <laughs> Venom. <one>. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know which ones they're going to be going for specifically. Yeah, that is something that they're trying to get off the ground again. I don't think it's going to be at all what the Drew Garter one was attempting to be, which sucks because Drew Garter would have been perfect for it. Maybe John Watts will just do it, you know? <laughs> just do all the Spider-Man films from now yeah. on. <laughs> now, as far as connecting Venom to Spider-Man, there are rumors about a post credit scene in Venom Let There Be Carnage that does exactly this. Connect Venom to the MCU. That will obviously have to wait until we Against actually Kevin see the Feige's scene, wishes. <laughs> but as far as the Sinister Six film is concerned, we do know that they tried to make one in the past before. They had a director planned and everything for it. However, it didn't get made. But recently, Back in 2019, Spider-Man franchise producer Amy Pascal teased the eventual formation of the Sinister Six, telling us that all of the villains have actually been introduced in the last two Spider-Man films, Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, since we are getting a different Sinister Six in Spider-Man No Way Home, those plans could have changed a little bit, but it does still look like an actual movie just focusing <laughs> on the Sinister Six is going to happen eventually at some point in time, which makes us wonder, are these 
these villains going to die in this universe? Are they going to go free? Mm. What exactly is going to happen? We'll have to wait till No Way Home to find that out, but this could come as good news to some fans because a lot of people want to see just one Peter Parker, Tom Holland's Peter Parker, <laughs> go up against the Sinister Six. Okay, here's my concern about the Sinister <laughs> Six thing. It's the same issue that, you know, a lot of people and myself sort of share some grips with Venom about. The idea of the Sinister Six, each individually have had one-on-one -on -one <laughs> encounters with Spider-Man. He is the only thing to foil what could have been their greatest successful villainous plan. Like, that's the point of the Sinister Six of why they form us. Like, we all share a common enemy, and that's Spider-Man. So, we gotta take him out. I feel like we're gonna do a Sinister Six movie. You gotta build to that properly. Uh, and it seems like a big part of what makes the DNA of a lot of the members that alternate within the Sinister Six revolve towards their goal being take out Spider-Man. I don't get the vibe that they're trying to do a Sinister Six versus Spider-Man. I get the vibe they're just doing some, like, Sinister, like, almost like a Suicide Squad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Which yeah. is, uh, the way they've set it up now, I'm like, maybe they'll just do it in reverse where none of the villains know Spider-Man yeah. slowly. They all meet him, and then he becomes the villain of the entire universe, and then we just follow the villain yeah. characters as if they're heroes. <laughs> and the Sony Spider-Man universe, he'll truly be a menace. What do you think about the scene, and are you excited for the Venomverse to finally connect to the MCU? Let me know, and don't forget to like this sure. video, and of course, for live updates, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. I mean, I'm excited to see Tom Hardy and Tom Holland cross. I think the thing though is, is that what makes the Venom and Spider-Man uh, dynamic work so well is the fact that it's so personal because both Eddie Brock and Venom hate Spider-Man, partly because it, they, it stems from loving Spider-Man. That's one thing spectacular Spider-Man captures so well. The prior relationship Eddie Brock and Peter have with each other is a little different than the comics, but having that there is a big part of what makes like the reasoning for Venom hating Spider-Man works so well, why the fight scenes and the action and everything that progresses is so engaging. I just hope that when they finally do cross, somehow they capture the spirit of that as opposed to them just fighting each other for some reason. All right, guys, well, leave your thoughts down below. Why don't you go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell, that like button, you know, Spider-Man stuff. We'll catch you guys soon.